Welcome to Weeping Willow Homestead. Today I have an all Aldi grocery haul. This is enough for approximately two to three weeks. Usually we stretch it to the three week mark. So my last grocery haul, which unfortunately got deleted from YouTube by accident, um, it was, I meal planned for two weeks, but it's lasted us, tomorrow will be three weeks. So um, this is for our family of seven. Our children are 11 down to one. Um, we homeschool, so the kids and I eat all of our meals at home. My husband, um, sometimes takes his lunch to work and sometimes gets something at work, but for the most part, he takes his lunch. So this is everything that we need for at least two weeks. Um, and then, like I said, probably pushing it into the third week. So let's take a look at my meal plan for this two week period. We have cheesy broccoli ham casserole. Chicken legs, and I'll just come up with some other side to do with that, depending on what kind of chicken legs I end up making, whether I put barbecue sauce on them, I might do um, coleslaw, or if I do them savory, then I will make something slightly more savory. I've got taco salad. I've got creamy taco pasta. This is a recipe that I have, and it, it calls for pasta, and since we're low carb, I've just switched it, and... Um, I kind of make it and I make it without the pasta, but I use the base recipe. Uh, Dijon Parmesan pork chops. These are from the food bank. Sorry, I, the ham is from the food bank. The chicken legs are from the food bank. I've got some ground meat from the food bank. Um, and then the pork chops, mashed potatoes and carrots. Um, and then I'll do mashed cauliflower for me. Burgers. I've got beef from the food bank. I don't like beef, so I'll do ground turkey for me, which I've got um, slaw and chips of some kind. Uh, a breakfast for dinner. Cabbage roll in a bowl, which I've got ground pork for that from food bank. Uh, two nights of pizza. I've got, I bought a pizza today, and then I will make a homemade pizza and then I will make something for me that's pizza-esque. Sometimes it's chicken with pizza toppings on it. Sometimes I make a cauliflower crust pizza. Um, I've got a pork shoulder that a friend of ours gave us. And yes, I know I spelled that wrong. Um, that I need to get used. I'm not sure what I'm doing with it yet. If you have any really good po pork shoulder recipes, hit me up. Because I will probably just end up throwing it in slow cooker and making it into pulled pork. But it'd be nice to maybe do something different. And then I still have shrimp from the food bank that needs used. Um, I don't eat shrimp. I don't like seafood, but my family does. So once again, if you have a good shrimp recipe that's easy um, and a hit with kids and adults alike, let me know because I don't cook shrimp. So, But I'll also cook a whole chicken on that night, and then they can pick which one they want. Um, so like I said, I just meal plan for the the two weeks and then the third week I just take inventory of what I have left of what we get from food bank and I'll meal plan off of that. All right, so let's look at what we've got. I've got fruit over here, two bags of the little mandarin oranges, a pineapple which was on sale at our store this week, and then two bags of pears. They had no peaches, which my kids usually ask for peaches, so there were absolutely none. Uh, a bag of grapes, which we already hit on the way home. And then five bunches of bananas. Um, my intention is to let these go overripe and then freeze them for making popsicles and smoothies. Um, we're into that season now, and my kids love popsicles. I think I made over a thousand popsicles last summer. That I just bought a silicone popsicle mold and make popsicles and they love them all summer long. There are two things of romaine hearts, two bags of the baby peppers that we eat for lunches a lot, um, a bag of asparagus. I have been craving asparagus like crazy here lately. Three things of broccoli crowns, one bag of carrots, a bag of avocados. I think I got eight or ten. I can't remember now. Um, I found out from another uh, vlogger that I watch that you can um, put these in the refrigerator and then pull them out when you want them to ripen and they'll ripen over a couple of days. So that was like a game changer for me because I've always thought that you had to like just leave them and then they ripen when they ripen and you don't. 
So that's huge for me because avocado is a great source of fat. I'm having a hard time getting enough fat in my diet. Um, so I kind of do a light modified keto. Um, so that's helpful. There's two bags of radishes. We are going to start getting these out of our garden here very soon. So I might be able to pause on buying those from the grocery store for a little while. There's one thing of zucchini, which I will probably do zoodles for me. But then also one of those nights when I need a side, I do several different things with zucchini. A whole cabbage, two cauliflower, three bags of baby carrots for lunches. Three containers of these little cherubs. Um, really like these baby cherry tomatoes. Uh, they have good flavor. And we hit those on the way home as well. As well as some carrots. It was lunchtime. Um, they had, this is one of my favorite chopped salad kits. And I don't buy these unless they're on sale. And these both had the $1 off sticker. So I was excited about those. Um, because I will eat that whole thing by myself. I just have to watch and pull out use less of the dressing and not all of the little wonton strips to make it low carb. All right, we have cold stuff. We've got a bag of the berry medley and two of the blueberries. There's three packs of um, honey smoked ham. And then underneath that is one of the containers of kind of the fancier lunch meat that's nicer for me. It's a little bit lower carb. And that one just fell off. <laughs> Uh, there's a thing of these maple flavored pork sausages that my kids and I really like. Um, a thing of two packs of guacamole. Two th or three packages of the turkey kielbasa. This was on sale this week as well. This is something that I will just throw in the freezer. And then it's a quick and easy meal, um, that I can throw together. I've even made, um, fajitas out of it with peppers and onions that was really good. I think I said the hummus. If I didn't, there's three things of hummus. There's this Greek yogurt. And the reason I got it is because there was a $1 off or $2 off sticker, which dropped it to the same price as the regular yogurt. So I was excited to have Greek or organic yogurt. Um, Mount Cheesemore. There's six Colby Jack, six mild cheddar, six mozzarella, one our extra sharp cheddar, which I slice up and my husband takes this with... Um, like salami, that kind of thing to work with him, summer sausage. The Colby Jack is what we use for lunches and snacking on. Mild cheddar is for casseroles and pizza. And then mozzarella is for casseroles and pizza. So that's why there's so much of it. I hand shred all of our cheese. Um, there's four things of this, and I don't know how to pronounce it. It's the less fat cream cheese. Um, the only reason I get it is because it's softer. So you don't have to wait for it to soften to use it. Um, I got these last time and oh my gosh, they were amazing. So I actually ended up getting two of these. I put them in my eggs. I do intermittent fasting. So lunch is my first meal of the day. And so sometimes I'll do breakfast for lunch for myself. And so I've been doing these in my eggs and they're, it's just yummy. Um, there's three things of goat cheese, blueberry, cranberry, and cherry. And these are for, we do snacky dinners on Sunday. So I will get these out with some crackers and my kids eat them like that. There's a thing of provolone. I didn't have it on my meal plan, but I'm wanting to make a um, Philly cheesesteak casserole that's low carb um, that sounded really good. And so I went ahead and picked that up, even though it wasn't on my meal plan, because I may just switch some things around. There's one bag of string cheese, which we got into on the way home. Two things of snack sticks, one of which we got into on the way home. <laughs> Do we see a trend here? Uh, a thing of pepperoni. This is not their normal pepperoni. Um, they have been out of pepperoni for like almost all winter. So I went ahead and picked this up. It was a little bit more pricey. So, um, yeah, I may have to go a little skimpier on the pepperoni on pizzas. I got a can of this or container, whatever you call this, um, uh, a month or so ago and sardines is one of those where it's so they're so good for you they're so high in omega-3s and fatty acids and all that fun stuff and so um i tried a piece of it just plain and then the rest of it i mashed up into 
tuna salad for my kids and didn't tell them what was in there. And they were all like, oh yeah, this tuna salad tastes great. And then I told them that there were sardines in there. So that's a nice way of sneaking those in where you're not particularly eating just the straight sardine. Although now my kids are like, we want to try it just plain. So we might go ahead and give that a try. Uh, two things of heavy whipping cream. A lot of times when I do breakfast for lunch, I do a small amount of the, like a half a cup of the berry medley. And then I put heavy whipping cream on it and let it sit and then kind of mash it up and it's really, really good. Um, I'll also sometimes put vanilla or um, lemon extract in it. All right, let's go back to the back again. There is a take and bake pizza. Most of the time I make our pizzas from scratch, but if we happen to be in there on a day that's close to Friday, which is our pizza night, I go ahead and pick one up. So tomorrow's pizza night, so mom's sanity saver. There's the two pounds is the only package they had. I was going to get a one pound, but two pounds was the only package that they had for making turkey burgers, um, which is fine. I'll just make it all up into turkey burgers and then I'll just have extra. Um, last time I was in there, I bought one of the keto ice cream. It, I bought the peanut butter fudge and it was pretty decent. Um, I still haven't eaten even half the container because... It, there's three containers per, but I don't eat a whole serving. Um, just a couple little scoops is fine with me. Um, and we only eat dessert once a week, so it's going to last us a while. But I saw mint chocolate chip, and it just sounded so good. And then the kids wanted mint chocolate chip, a regular ice cream, so we got one of those as well because we haven't had ice cream in a long time. Uh. Non-food items, there's some Q-tips and a box of freezer quart bags and a box of regular quart bags. We're getting pretty close to gardening garden producing food so I will need some of those to have on hand just so I don't go oops I don't have any uh one thing of all-purpose flour and one thing of almond flour for me three things of bacon bits salad topping casseroles uh breakfast for lunch that kind of thing um as far as canned goods go, I've got a container of Dijon mustard, which is for those Dijon pork chops. And it's also lower carb than regular mustard, which regular mustard is super low. So that's nice. Um, a thing of balsamic vinegar, because I was almost out. A thing of lime juice, which I put in my water a lot. A container of Miracle Whip. Um, a container of Alfredo sauce. This is also a backup meal, quick and easy, you know, kind of thing. Um, sweet and sour sauce for my family for on the cabbage roll in a bowl. I can't do this because, woo, sugar. Um, a thing of apple cider vinegar. I'm going to start, we soak our chicken's feed. Um, it makes it healthier and it makes it go a little bit further. And I'm going to start adding some apple cider vinegar to it so that it really boosts that health up. Um, two things of marinara sauce, which is the lowest carb one that I can usually find. There's people that talk about another one that's an organic one that's even lower, but I couldn't find it today. A thing of honey for various cooking things. A thing of worcestershire. Yeah, however you pronounce that. Um, I was I actually was out of this the other day. I went to make chicken jerky and I was out, so I went ahead and bought a thing of that. Uh, a thing of salsa con queso for all those taco nights. This is part of what we ate on the way home. The kids got to pick one of these, and then they had these. These are so good. Obviously not low carb, um, so I don't eat them, but they come in a pack of five, and I just send the extra one to work with my husband. And then um, I make our kids' trail mix. Um, it's cheaper for me to buy all the ingredients and then throw it all together. So there's a container of regular, uh, um, sorry, regular peanuts, a thing of honey roasted peanuts, a thing of cashew pieces, a thing of mixed nuts, and then one bag of dried blueberries, one bag of dried cranberries, one bag of dried cherries, and then I also have raisins already on hand that will go into that. And then I usually do a half a bag each of milk chocolate chips, white chocolate chips, and butterscotch chips. And I just throw that, all of that, I dump it in a bowl, mix it up, and then I throw it into a big, like, gallon size um, mason jar. And then at snack time, the kids can come and dip some out. So it's, generally, it runs a little cheaper than buying the pre-made granola, and I kind of tend to make it slightly more nutty, um, so it's slightly healthier. 
Um, and then I kind of went on a splurge buy of the sparkling waters for me. My kids also drink these on Friday with pizza night. So they usually, I usually split two of them between the four oldest kids. Um, so the berry and the key lime are both favorite flavors. And then the Raz Cranberry, I can never find outside of these big packs. Um, so I buy it, but I like the other two flavors as well. So it's fine. And those will last me several months, um, probably the next three months or so, because I only drink one a day max. Um, so like that's almost a whole month and that's almost a whole month right there. So, um, yeah. And then my, I got two of these for my husband. He really, really liked these and kind of enjoyed having one of these cold after dinner. I don't drink, but you know, he likes them. So go for it. Okay, so that's everything that we got. Um, like I said, we snacked on the way home for lunch, and I may end up going ahead and busting out something else because I'm still hungry um, because we just kind of snacky stuffed. So, um, or I'll do a bigger snack after a bit. Um, our total was three thirty-five seventy-nine, and. Um, like I said, that this should last us for, uh, usually pushes at least three weeks, give or take. So, yeah. All right. I'm going to go put all of this stuff away. And I hope you have a great day. God bless. And goodbye.